Hey, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to trigger make automations whenever you receive an email. This opens up a lot of other applications, especially whenever you can't really find a module in make where you're watching for new responses. Sometimes that's, that's unfortunately unavailable, but you do get email notifications that get sent directly to your email. So that's when you could probably use that, this, this method to actually trigger subsequent uh, automation flows. So if you're new here, my name is Brandon. I run a sales automation agency called Nimflow. And I do this kind of videos mostly as a way to keep accountable and build my personal brand while also sharing my learnings on AI automation and digital leverage. So if you're new here, please help me like this video and subscribe and we'll get to it. So before we begin, you do need a Make account. Just sign up for a free Make account. You don't really need a pay subscription unless you are using Make for a bunch of other stuff as well. As well and you do need a business email. Not n completely necessary, but making having a business Gmail, a business email account is easier to integrate with Make compared to having a free Gmail account. You must jump through a, a ton of hoops, which I'm not gonna cover in this email. Uh, sorry, I'm not gonna cover in this video. So for the purpose of this, you just need to have a business account. So a business account is one where is you have a custom domain. So in my case, it's like Brendan at Brendan, Brendan Owl. Com. So this, you need a custom domain like this. All right. So if you once you have this tool, let's get over to make. So once you're in make, just create a scenario. All right. So once you're over here, once you're in a new scenario, just click this. Go and find webhooks. Whenever you want webhooks, but we are going. I need a book. Okay. So once you're in webhooks, sorry you're gonna need to click custom mail hook, not the web hook, custom mail hook. So this just creates a mail hook that allows you to send any sort of forward, essentially forward any sort of email to this particular mail hook in make, which will then trigger an automation uh, afterwards. So once you're here, you wanna create a new hook, sorry, create, you wanna add, just name it whatever you want. So for this, I'm just gonna say YouTube mail hook. I tend to like to use like snail case. So snail case is when you use underscores, but they're just more, mostly a preference because back, back when I was like using Python and stuff, this is usually the convention. And it's easier also eventually when you want to reference uh, certain variables, whenever, if you use snake case rather than just like typing it out like that, which I'll cover in another video also as well. So for the purpose of this, let's just do YouTube mail hook, save. So once you have this created, you see that you have a mail hook address. So this is essentially what you're trying to forward the email to. So once you go here, you copy address, go over to your Gmail, business Gmail account, head over to settings, go over to forwarding, and you want to add that forward address. So add this here, next. You should get this uh, mod model, model yeah, am I saying correctly? M O D A L model or pop okay, pop up. So once you're over here, you're gonna get this verification. So I am going to need open up Gmail on my iPhone, which unfortunately is is being used to record this video. Okay, let me go over there. Okay, forget it. It's troublesome. It's connected. Let me try it another way. So more ways to verify, let's see. Tap yes on my phone or tablet. Can I do it on my tablet? Ah, okay, great. I'm also I'm using a tablet. Yes. 91. Alright, I'm done. So essentially, if once you added the forwarding address, you're gonna be prompted to do this. You need to verify the email either on your phone which unfortunately I'm using to record this video or an iPad. But in your case, you could probably use one of these two options. So once you get this, once you get, once you've done that, just, for, just click proceed. Once you've done ver verifying that, that number. Okay. So once you see, once you see verify, now you want to go back to the webhook, click save. Now key thing, you need to actually receive a response to actually click on the link to eventually verify that you are authorizing that mail hook. So it's a little bit conf confusing. So for, for this purpose, I'm just going to do this. Run this module first. Just make sure it's listening for a response. Go back. 
is resend. So confirmation email has been resent to, to make webhook. So you see, you got the response here right now. Just want to go over, where is it? Under text. And then if you click the link, yep, I think it's this one. So once you receive the response, you just want to click this link. So open up a new tab, paste it in and just press confirm. All right, confirmation success. We are essentially done. Just go back to the email and just refresh. So to make things easier, I want to be creating a filter. Okay, so I'll cre first create a filter. Let me just create a, yeah, just create a filter. Let's say from my own personal free Gmail account. So whenever I receive an email from my own personal Gmail account, I want to create a filter. Let's choose a new label. Let's just put a from personal. Skip the inbox. Apply a filter. I don't have any right now, so it's, but I usually just click this. And then we also want to forward it to that mail hook that we just created. All right, so create. Need to verify it as you. Okay. It's a lot of verification needing needed, sorry. All right, verify again. My goodness. Let's click. I'm going to need to verify my iPad. It's 12. Got it. This is me. All right, done. So just to double check, let's go over to our filters and see. Okay, so we have one right now here. Continue, just to check. So whenever I receive a email from this particular email, I want you to skip the inbox, apply the label from personal, which should be here. And then it should also forward that particular email to the mail hook in make.com, which will then trigger any sort of automations afterwards. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to then run this module again, run this module again. So now this mail hook is listening for any sort of emails that are coming into uh, my business email, which is right here. So I'm going to go over to my personal email. I'm just going to send myself an email. So this is a test. Hi, Brendan. Brendan, this is a test. I'm going to send. Let's check. All right, it's come in. Thank God. All right, so you can see I've received that email from my personal email, sent to my business email, and then it's also forwarded to this particular mail hook. And then you can see the particular text right here, which is just a simple text, so there's nothing to it. You can also see the HTML content, all this information, whenever, if there's any attachments or not. In this case, there isn't. So this is essentially how you trigger an automation whenever you receive an email through Make. It's very simple. So once that is done, you can continue to add any sort of modules afterwards for any sort of automation flow that you're trying to create. So one, a few particular use cases that I do use this for is one of which is actually whenever I do sort of like meetings, I use this uh, AI note taker called Fathom right here. So it's a, it's a AI note taker. The issue is I like to use this because it's free. It provides me, it gives me like transcriptions and everything and, and summaries and AI summaries and stuff, but they don't really have an API that allows me to create any sort of automations beyond, um, yeah create any sort of automations after the meeting has ended. So that is a pretty much a pain. Whenever the meeting has ended, I have to copy and paste the meeting link into my CRM. So that is a little bit tricky, but I do receive email notifications whenever a meeting has been completed. So I use this to actually create sort of automation flows to change uh, the statuses of my deals inside my CRM in ClickUp, essentially, so that makes sense. You can also trigger like whenever you receive invoices or subscription invoices. You could also automate make.com error logging whenever you receive emails from make.com because there isn't re really a native module that allows you to trigger any sort of automations for make errors. So that's also one sort of application. So I hope this short video was useful to you. In the future, I'm going to be creating more applications on how to use, how to apply this particular trigger to create other sort of automations. So. Please help me like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.